Welcome to the Scrap Zone. This is Julie, and I wanted to share with you my latest project I've been working on. I thought you'd like to know how to put together the suitcase. This project is called A Suitcase Full of Memories, and I've used the new Close My Heart Paper Pack Central Park. So inside your small suitcase, you'll have three booklets. There's three pages inside with tags. It holds four by six pictures, standard size pictures, and it's really quick to put together. So you've got three of these. I've done this one here on the horizontal, and then you've got your third one. So all of these little booklets, if you want, are going to go inside your suitcase. This is a Cricut Design Space file, and all of the shapes are pre-designed for you. You just have to cut it and put it together. So for the suitcase, here are some of the pieces that, that are included in your project. You've got the top piece and the bottom piece. The fun part about this is you get this really cool pattern inside. So in your Cricut file, you will have these pieces and they're, they're already pre-scored. It's a little bit hard to see, but basically what you're going to be doing is folding on the score line and using your bone folder just to crease your lines even better. I'm only going to put the, the top together so that you guys get an idea of how it all fits in. So this is your basic box. You'll flip it over. Now you need to use um, a really good adhesive. You can use liquid glass, but I found that liquid glass kind of made it buckle a little bit. Here I'm going to be using double-sided tape. Um, the regular double-sided tape is really not strong enough, so you need something that's strong. And uh, you need to glue down your flaps. I also found that using an acrylic block helps to cut your your double-sided tape. That way you don't have to take out your scissors every time. Sometimes we just use what uh, we have on hand and uh, it ends up being something that is right underneath our noses. So you're going to be using double-sided tape or something strong enough on the flaps. So you're going to repeat this step for the bottom and uh, I usually give them a little burnish, it helps remove the backing and it also makes it sturdier. Again, using whatever I have that's available on my scrapbooking table, which are usually my scissors and my blocks. I'm going to put this box together. So you'll notice that there's a little bit of a notch, and that's done on purpose because when you're putting this together, you're going to make sure that your edges are nice and flat and you don't want overlapping so this is why oh I'm off camera so this is why this is happening here so again because I wasn't really paying attention <laughs> when you fold this down the reason for the notch is that you can go all the way down and make sure that the top part is flush so this top part is flush and you're going to remove your backing 
and try and show these, this to you at the right angle. You can see that's what happens when you don't burnish. It makes it a little bit more difficult to remove your tape. So again, when you're folding it, you're folding it nice and flush to the corner and making sure that there's nothing hanging off on this edge. So our box is coming together. So the top is slightly smaller than, sorry, slightly larger than the bottom because you want it to fit. And these little notches here, I'm going to show you my prototype. These little notches are to help op to open the box because otherwise it was just too difficult to open. So by placing your thumb and fingers, you can actually separate your box nicely. So this is your top, and um, I would go ahead and ink this dress all of the edges because it's a suitcase, right? So it's going to be it's going to be you know weathered a little. I've got a few other pieces that I'm going to be playing with, so I will be decorating the top, and that'll be in the other video. I'm not going to show you how to do it, but I'm going to show you the finished product. So I've gone ahead and I've cut and I've separated some of the pieces that I thought would look really cute on top of uh, my suitcase. And that is probably one of the first tips that I should give you when you want certain items in your main page or in your main focus, set those aside because once you start creating sometimes you lose focus and you use pieces that you weren't you wanted to save for something else. So this is going to be the top, and of course, what's a suitcase without a little tag or a little luggage tag? This one here, what I would recommend is to keep the negative part, because when you glue it all down together, you can use the negative part to help you position your globe exactly where it should be. So that's going to be attached to my little luggage. The other thing I wanted to quickly show you is uh, these little corner pieces. And again, I'll show you my prototype. These are the little corner pieces that are going on your suitcase. It's a simple circle. And in the circle, in the Cricut file, there's an actual score line on um, horizontal and vertical. So I would fold those first. And they just fold right on the score line. And of course, always burnish your edges. It makes it easier, nice and crisp. Open it up. And then fold it. Again. Now, you have to fold your circle first, and then you have to cut one of them. The reason for that is that if it's cut, it makes it a lot harder to fold in half. So you would then cut along one of the score lines, like so. And then here, <clears throat> I've used liquid glass. So just put a little bit of liquid, liquid glass on the flap. Fold it over. I'll have to hold it in place. So you can see it's creating this cute corner. So I've got one here that's completed. And of course I did some inking on it. You'll have to hold it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then these are going to be added on the corner of your suitcase. So that's how that's going to work. So you've got four of these. So again, you would fold them first and then cut down the center and then add liquid glass make it into a small corner piece and then ink it up so that would be uh, the assembly for the top of your suitcase and then you've got this handle piece I know it looks intricate but it, it's actually it's pretty cute so again, I would ink all of these pieces, and this is what it looks like when it's all put together. So you'll see here I've been using other types of uh, papers 
just to work on my prototype. But this is what it looks like when it's all completed. The idea is that I'm going to be putting gems on either of these sides. So these are the, the little strap that holds the handle on your luggage. And it's all uh, done using, again, the Cricut file. This is not meant to truly hold uh, your box because it is all done out of paper so it is definitely a decorative piece but when once it's all put together it looks really neat so how do we do this these are the two ends well, let me clean up my little mess here these are the two ends that are going to be placed on either side of the top of your suitcase and when, once these are in place, I kind of use them. I was going to give you measurements, but I thought, you know, this is easy enough. So you would um, curl your piece. And you will notice, it's a little difficult, but you will notice that there's a, there's a couple of score lines at the end. So that you can fold exactly where it needs to go. And then you just curl your piece right and then you would glue down one one end and you would butt it against the little circle you're not going to glue down both because you've got to wrap your strap around this one here so this is what you would do for both you've got two of these so again you you know train your paper give it a little bit of a curl and then just fold back on the score line. It's going to go, they're going to just fold nice and neat. And then this goes on this side, right? So you would have one here and one here. Once that's put together, this is your handle. So this is the top handle. So it's just two pieces. Again, I would ink distress all of this to give it a little bit of character. And then once it's glued, you can just curl it with your fingers. And this piece here, I believe I've given you a score line. So if you kind of look at the one edge, there's a little bit of a score line. And the reason for that score line is that's where, that's the center. So you would definitely line up all of your pieces to this score line. Make sure that it's nice and dry before you continue to the next part. The next part is you're putting in your little buckle or you know this is meant to be like a little metal piece but you'll, you would put that in. I have to look at my prototype and just a minute here. Ooh. <laughs> So you would actually curl it. So once this is all glued down, you would you would curl this and glue it as well. Because it's going to form the it's going to form where the little buckle is going to go into. So you've got this piece. You've got the long strap with a little score line so that you can line up exactly where it needs to go and then you're going to curl your ends they're long enough so they shouldn't be an issue so you're going to curl your end just using your finger and then you're just going to glue it down so you're going to do this at both ends before you do this you need to put your little buckle don't forget to put your little buckle so now you kind of get the idea that this piece is going to go on the strap that is on your luggage. So you've got this piece here and then you're gonna slide in your buckle and then glue this one down. So all of these pieces are Cricut pieces. Even the pages are Cricut pieces. So you've got three pages. There's holes in the center. They've all been lined up and then they're just, the little booklet is tied together with a bit of twine. So this one here, if you look at it, it's one page and I've added a pocket. So in order for these tags to slide up and up and down, you can't just slap a piece of paper 
and call it a day, you actually have to make a pocket. So in your Cricut file, you will have this other piece. And again, it's all pre-scored. I'm not sure if it's uh, visible on camera, but it's all pre-scored. So what you would do with this piece is you would fold it back. Make a pocket. I always start by inking up. Um, using a little bit of liquid glass, not inking, but gluing it down. So we're going to glue down the bottom of our pocket. And using your liquid glass, you can just add a tiny bit of it, not a lot. I tend to just rub it on. It will buckle a little, but since we're putting other elements on top, it really didn't make a difference. So that's that's just the amount of li um, liquid glass that I threw on there. Now, I'm sorry, but I did not cut another piece of paper, but basically it would be just one full sheet, and you would just put it right on top. And it is probably 1 16th of an inch smaller, so it gives you room. The reason why I'm recommending using liquid glass because when you're putting it down you actually have a little bit of time to position your pocket. You've got a little wiggle room to uh, adhere it down. So to me that made it worth and if you're looking here the finished product there's no buckling there's nothing. So it does gr it, it will dry really nicely but again if you saw I didn't put a lot of liquid glass. I really did it very sparely. So this is the construction of the pockets and you will have two pockets per small booklet and it's all in the instructions as well. Plus I will show you the finish suitcase because as you can see I've been doing a few prototypes so this includes the cute handle and uh, you've got your little corner pieces and the inside. What's really cute about the inside is that you can decorate it as well and I think that once this is open I'll do the full reveal when the whole project is done. It's going to be really nice to see this really big pop of yellow inside and your booklets fit perfectly. So everything has been sized to house these little booklets. I might even sneak in a little note inside of my book, inside of my suitcase, sorry. So stay tuned to see the finished product. I just thought I'd stop by and give you uh, some instructions on how to put it together. Have a great day.